Kenya, around 3.4 million people in arid and semi-arid areas are severely food insecure and drought have historically been a serious constraint to agricultural production. Agriculture plays a pivotal role in the lives of most Kenyans, with close to 70% of the population, mainly women, relying on it. Today's episode features a woman farmer in the semi-arid areas who's been in farming for more than 20 years. Let's get to see what crop she grows and how she maintains it, plus how she managed to store water for production to happen all year round. This is on the Farm KE channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. We'd like for you to explain to us what's happening in this field. Yeah, so far, what have we done? Kwa wakati huu tumekuja kwa boga. Boga yenyewe ni changa iko na wiki bili. Tumeipada juzi na ufua. Na saa indio tunajitarisha kutoa kwekwe. Lakini bado sijapea fataraisa kwa iju. Kulipanda wakati kuna ufua. Na tuliogopa fataraisa iziende ikaperekwa chini. Na maji ya ufua. Kwa hivyo saa ya tujaweka. Hakuna mabo mingi sana tumeifanyia. Mpango ni kwa batu kisha maliza kupalidia mara ya kwanza. Ndiyo tutaweka borea for the first time. Na asa hiyo borea itabili tu. Fuatanishe zote bili. After two weeks tuweke sasa hile. Tugefaa kuweka after 18 days. Lakini kwa wakati huu hiya ina mambo mingi. Ni kutuwa tu kwa watu wa kampuni wale wa seeds. Na kukuja kwa shamba. Lakini borea tayari tumeweka hile kitu ya tujaweka ni fataraisa. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And then, kama uneza tuelezea, mm -hmm. spacing ya between this one plant to the other, mm -hmm. umetumia spacing gani? Ah, kama vile nisema nimekuja kukubia kwa mba boga inasumana, ikikuwa kubwa, na hasa kwa wakati hu tumeweka, hatukwa tumezoea kubweka borea, lakini this time we have been very serious. Maboya borea, tukaona tubadishe spacing, kwa sababu tunaogopa hii boga inaweza kuwa kubwa, kwa vile hata weza nae ni mzuri, unajua wakati kuna mfua, Boga inapenda sana maji ya juu. Mm. Lakini hiyo spacing sasa badala ya kuweka dhati tumeweka 45 mm -hmm. na laini kwa laini ya tujabadilisha. Lakini tunayamini ya kwamba hii boga mm -hmm. kama mtafanya follow up mtakuja kuona ni kubwa kabisa uh, okay. wakati wa kuikata. Mm -hmm. okay. Sawa. Sa okay. Mm -hmm. Na tukiangalia kama hii mboga ndogo, hebu tusonge hapa tuwane. Mm -hmm. Tukiangalia mboga kama hii ndogo, mm -hmm. hii lisi yake inatani. Mkona last, mm -hmm. inaweza kuwa ni last ama inaweza kuwa hata boga ya kushukua na drip, inaweza kuwa ni drip kwa hivyo next time tukifanya application, tutapiga dawa ya last na pia tutapiga dawa ya drip kwa sababu hatujajua kabisa ni nini, lakini nafikiria vile kuna mkua na ujefu, last inakuwa nyingi zana kwa cabbage. Ah, ok, mm. tosa sofa msha spray kukontrol? Tume spray ya kukontrol tu ile moth, ile ya kukata. Tumeweka oh. tu hile cutworm ndiyo tumeweka mm -hmm. na pia tumepiga starter folia mm -hmm. ndiyo at least matawi inenepe kidogo. Ok. Yeah. And then going back, mm -hmm. siju kama tuliongelelea kuhusu hii isha chukua mdamu gani? Tangu transplant? Tangu transplant is now two weeks. Ikona two weeks kwa shaba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is doing good kwa sababu weather nae ni mzuri mfua ni mingi. Mm -hmm. Atupatii maji sana. Hasa hile kitu stress kidogo ni kwekwe kwa sababu na chari jia watu. Unajua wakati kuna mfua, watu wanafanya mashaba yao, upatagi watu wengi wakazi, lakini badu, tutafanya tu. Ok, and then, sasa, if you can briefly take us to before, before you transplant your seedlings. Do you propagate your seedlings by yourself ama uwa mna nunua from somewhere, your seedlings? Bereni likuwa nafanya propagate mimi mwenye lakini sasa nime advance kidogo mpaka ni advance na hile technology inaenda kwa hivyo naenda kwa watu wa propagation na pia ndiyo inipatie mundo wa kutayadisha shamba yangu kwa hivyo itaenda na hile pace mimi mta si hile boga inikibisha ikiwa kwa nasa itaenda na hile pace hiko ok that's interesting and any other thing you'd like to tell us on this farm maybe ya tuja cover Nafikiria tumekafa kila kitu kwa sababu, nasa borea tumesema nimeweka borea ya manyue ya ngombe, fataraisa ndiyo sijaweka, na nitafanya hivyo imidjete nikipalidia, mwala ya kwanza ya.
Okay, if, if I may ask again, why is it that you have pepe? This is pepe, yeah, pili pili, mm -hmm. and then you have cabbage, and then down there you have tomatoes. Yeah. So I have done so. In a depend na space ya shaba. Unaju have pili pili na chukua muda. It normally goes for an end above. Kwa hivyo nae cabbage unapata mahali kuna space jiu unakujia wapi Lakini nomba de juu simu mii simu kulima wa cabbage peke yake Ndi unaona kuna cabbage, kuna nyanya, kuna kitungu Na kuna vitu mingi juu mii ni mkulima wa kalibu kila kitu Ha ah, ok mm. And as you've said Pilipili na chukua wania yeah. Does it take wania before you try the pepe Ama lifespan yake like you can, you can... Aha Ni lifespan yake Ina chukua munda hata inezaeda saidi ya miakabiri It can even go for two years Okay. Yeah. And after you mature the papers, mm. how long will it take? Like, uta harvest as how many times? Summer? Uta harvest forever. Mala mingi. Oh. Uta harvest mala mingi. So long as inaendelea kutoa iyo mauwa mauwa, mm -hmm. ni kuonyesha, uta harvest. Hile kitu hiko ni ya pilipili ya ina pesa mingi. Mm. Pilipili ni pesa kidogo ni ya kumaintain shaba, lakini wakati kuna pesa unapata unanduwa ata miyamoja kwa kilo. And that is good money. Ah, okay. Okay. How long has it been since you transplanted these cabbages? Um, with the mocha from the tape I, I transplanted just one month. Okay, it's been one month. Yeah. Okay, and what's the spacing for planting? Spacing is 45, but I'm going to put it in 60. Because of the boga, it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a good thing between the cabbage kuna bili zinasukumana moja inapotea to avoid that nataka asa niongese spacing kidogo and uh, that is it ok that's that's interesting mm -hmm. and on irrigation matters mm -hmm. how frequently do you irrigate your farm your cabbages and what method of irrigation do you use uh, kwa sasa tuko kwa drip irrigation na deep irrigation ni boga inaingaji maji karibu kila siku Lakini wakati kuna ufua, we normally don't do it every day. Lakini siku hizi ngine, we normally do it hata kufadhali kungulia kidogo, ikunja kidogo, but uh, kwa kuliko ikose kabisa. Kwa sababu ikikose, tena boga inarudi nyuma kidogo. Uh, okay. Uh, what happens when cabbages? You, sub, you Cabbages get less water. And what happens when they are waterlogged, like when the water is in excess? Uh -huh. Cabbage si sana sana waterlogging ina affect pale kwa stem mm -hmm. Lakini nayo maji mingi ni necessary kwa mmea Every mmea inahitaji maji Kwa hivyo maji mingi sionagi ikiwa na shida kidogo Juma hari hapa mnaona ni mahari baki ya ngazi Kwa hivyo ina effect kubwa ya maji Juhu hata ukueka maji mingi within no time jia jua Ita kwa imeenda Ok that's ok And on fertilizers Which fertilizer do you use and how frequently do you apply your fertilizers? Normally, the first thing when preparation, when doing large preparation, we have to fertilizer and boil it. We have to use the and we have to use the And we have to use the top of Elgon, Kenya. I have to use the fertilizer, but at the same time, this is Elgon fertilizer, and we have to use the fertilizer. Sijui ni kwa nina, juu siwezi yelesea, lakini na juu kitumia tofa, fertilizer tofauti. You will come to realize kuna moja unatumia inakuwa sawa, ingine unatumia inakuwa si sawa. Lakini currently we are using strictly, which means it is from Elgon, Kenya. So you yeah. only apply fertilizer twice, at planting and, and top dressing? Yeah, we do normally do it twice, top dressing and planting. Just so top dressing is supposed to be done within 18 Days lakini wakati munu napala tunafanya maybe 21 or even a month. It depends. Unajui na depend na mfuko ya mtu. Kama una do, mambo inakuwa ni stress. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I can see right now, weeding is in progress. Yeah. Uh, how frequently does cabbage need weeding? We normally do three times. Sometimes we do three times. But the major ones are two. Yeah, that one will have to eat a quick in a bucket. Okay, and for you, this is the second or the third weeding? This is the first weeding. We are doing it for the first time. Oh. Okay, this is the first weeding. Yeah, the first weeding, and very soon we are coming back. Very soon we are coming back. We are not going to be able to live in the house. We are not going to be able to live in the house. We are not going to be able to Okay. Yeah. And as of now, these cabbages are 30 days, one month old. How long will they take before they form the cabbage head? 
within the second month una, unaanza kuona kichwa hapa na pare hapa na pare the second month okay. second month unaanza kuona kichwa hapa na pare okay and then how long does it take to fully mature the cabbages it depends with the weather kwa sababu wakati weather iko mzuri they mm-hmm. can take 75 days but in, when the weather is a little bit hot inashukua 90 days lakini between 75 and 90 days in there you can harvest okay talking of weather what weather kind of weather favors cabbage farming just as comparing to this place you know what happens when the rains are on set the mm-hmm. cabbage will form very quickly but wakati mvua iko chini ni trip peke yake unapata kuna mahali trip imeanza kiza maji na unapata kuna challenge ni kuwa imezipwa so those are challenges lakini mvua ni perfect Okay. Uh, and right now we can see your cabbages are so healthy. Does cabbages have pest or disease infestation and what kind of pests and diseases do cabbage have? Yeah, they have pests but uh, cabbages are not challenging. We normally do we cut worm. Na sukuka kwanza kwanza wakati umepanda lakini kwanza cabbage kishika mambo ya pest labda ni aphids aina mashida mingi kama hizi mimea ingine cabbage is perfect yeah, okay it seems it's so easy yeah. how frequently do you spray do you spray for the pest and insect insecticides aha uh-huh. kama vile nimesema cabbage ina shida mingi so you spray us ukiona kuna pest ndio unakuja una spray lakini wakati mwingine you just apply for years Warriors are very important to maintain the color of the cabbage and also the seeds. Okay. And now we have our cabbages after 75 to 90 days. What's your market target? Like where do you sell your produce now? We have so many brokers around. Uh, brokers you want to have to akipata mboga yako ita wiko tayari wanaenda wanakuja na wanunuzi. We nobody don't think the many we have a boat from the shop from the farm yeah. and prices will depend with the season yeah prices depend with the season mm-hmm. kama juzi prices ilikuwa nzuri lakini right now it's a bit down okay and what what's the highest price you can sell a cabbage head you know uh-huh. you know what happens mm-hmm. selling a cabbage head from 15 shillings to 30 shillings you have made money so it depends kama market ni mzuri unafurahia if it is more than that you are happy farmer lakini ka, ukipata hata mtu wa 20 shillings uko sawa unajua cabbage haina matumizi mingi ya pesa isipokuwa ni fertilizer haina madawa mingi umetumia okay yeah. and how big is this space that uh, has cabbage only cabbage only cabbage uh-huh. i think it's uh, more than half an acre more than half uh, an acre yes, it's a bit like it's more than an acre and it has carried uh, this 13500 heads 13500 heads that's that's interesting okay and now as we finish our session i wanted to ask out there there's someone a youth or a young man who want to venture into farming what kind of advice can you give him or her Ah farming is interesting. You know when you become a farmer, kitu ya kwanza upatagi shida ya chakula kwa mesa. There is always food in the on the table. Pia unapata pesa kwa mfuko pia uwezi kosa. Farming is interesting. Hakuna mahali ngine utapata returns kama kwa shaba. Hata ukiajiriwa kama youth uwezi pata ile pesa mkulima upata. Lakini shida ni kwamba mkulima yeye peke yake ndio ununua kila kitu kwa retail na nauza pia kwa retail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anauza kwa wholesale. Unaona? Okay. Mkulima ana retail, mkulima anauza kwa wholesale lakini we normally I can encourage those people who are interested in farming. Farming is interesting. Nilianza kulima when I was a bit. Nilikuwa na mtoto mmoja 20 years ago. Na hakuna mahali nyingine naenda kufanya na watoto wamesoma kila kitu nimefanya. Kwa hivyo shaba ni nzuri. Okay. So as, as you said you you've been farming for 20 years 20 right years. now. Yeah. Uh, what advice can you give that young person now mm-hmm. who wants who is in search for greener pastures maybe he, he or she is moving from the rural areas to the urban areas in search for greener pastures mm-hmm. yet hako na shamba mahali i would add advice unajua ukulima hata bibi inasema mkulima hako na ufumilifu mwingi sana ni vizuri wale watu wanaenda kutafuta job mahali wajue kazi iko mingi sana kwa mashaba 
mtu akijaribu na mtu asiku asitupe uh, moyo wake isipotee akienda town kutafuta pesa hapana pesa iko huku kwa shaba na akubali kulima so long as you are hard working huwezi kosa pesa na so long as uko na passion unajua kila kitu ni passion huwezi kujua mtu mwenye hataki kulima aende akalime hapana hawezi kubali lakini kama uko na passion ya kulima kwangu ni interesting lakini pia ufumilivu it's very important kuwa na ufumilivu patience space miaka 20 nimerima na sasa hivi nimeanza kuona results sijui kama ni vile watoto wamemaliza shule hapa jijini <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe returns zilikuwa but you had other avenues ya kupeleka pesa eh ya kupeleka hiyo do yeah. and then for 20, 20 years is no joke and you are still in it yeah. what's that one thing that is still keeping you in farming as a young man farming is my passion nili nimemali nimejaribu biashara nimejaribu mambo mengi lakini narudi tu kwa shaba unajua hata biashara ile returns unapata kwa shaba huwezi lipata kwa biashara biashara unapata pesa kidogo kidogo lakini kwa shaba kama ni boa ikikatwa si I'll get uh, maximum returns hata kama nimetumia pesa na situmiangi mara moja so passion passion ndio kitu ya muhimu sana passion passion beats everything yeah. and are there times where you make losses like maybe you are cabbages or you are other farm produce get infested by pest and you go loss you go on loss Yeah, normally we normally go at losses but not but clearly ile loss kubwa inaleta kwa na wakati kuna flooding kwa market. Unajua kuna wakati unapata wakulima wengi wako na boga hata unalima inakosa kutoka kukuliza boga ni namna gani. Lakini ile loss kubwa ya tikuwa ni pesta manini. Uki, unajua vile unalima miaka mingi ni unapata experience. So experience niko nayo ya miaka mingi. Kwa hivyo mambo ya chadi jesi ya pesta na nini not clearly. Lakini market inaweza flood hata boga yako ipotelee kwa shaba na si mara moja ama mara mbili lakini hatufua tukufi roho tunasukuma tu okay yeah. okay and i can see in between the cabbages there are some maize stalks yeah. why why did you plant maize in the cabbage farm ah uh, mnajua maini ni mzuri tu uga sita kosa ngombe hata kosa mahali majani ya kukula kwa hivyo mpaka uangalie unaangalia fade hii gine kama cabbage utapata cabbage na ukule na ugali utapata ngombe tena unataka maziwa kwa hivyo mpaka uangalie maziwa tena okay and lastly now that you are you've been in farming for 20 years you have kids is there one or two of your kids who also has the same interest as you i think i can say all of them are interested kwa sababu hata ikulima bila watu wa kukusupport na watu wa compassion itabaki ile kazi unafanya saiwezi kuwa lakini nimeona mmoja wao ameanza kulimalima lakini hata huyu mwingine nimesikia juzi akisema anataka kupatiwa mahali ya lime kwa hivyo amejua ukulima iko na faida uh, that, that's so good yeah. you're not only inspiring other people outside but even within the family yeah. okay thank you so much anything you want to add Uh, advice to the farmers to the youths to young women advice to kulima si baya kulima ni yes uko na uchafu mwingi juu utaingia kwa mchanga na uingie na hata vidole na kila kitu lakini ni tansi unapata unafanya mambo yako bila shida you know my land frequently without a lot of problems na pia unaona utapata pesa kwa mfuko by the end of the day hakuna kitu kingine tunatafutia unaweka sababu chakula kwa sahani na pia unapata ukiitishwa elfu moja uwezi kosa and that is important uh, okay yeah. okay thank you so much